Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a gear game pass. So if you want to have like a gravity coil or a speed coil or a sword or something like that, um, I'll, I'll teach you how. So you, first you want to go and create, and then whichever game you want to go on, or whichever game you want to add the game pass to, you want to go here, and then you want to go to store. Okay, and then I already made um, a game pass, but if, if you want to make one, you just click add pass and then choose file, and it, you just choose a file, and then you change the name of the game pass, and then you click preview, and then it'll say upload, and you click that. But I already made one, so we, we don't have to do that. But then we're just gonna, then once you made it, so we are we in Roblox Studio. And, and um, you if Roblox you guys haven't Studio. already, um, go check out how to make a game pass GUI. This is really helpful. It, it just gives the players a chance to buy a game pass, or like it, it almost encouraged them to buy the game pass, I guess. Um, but anyways, we want to go into workspace, and then in workspace you have a script, and then I'll just put this script in the description. Um, but anyways, once we're here, we want to open toolbox. If you haven't, if you don't have toolbox open, you just open it in view, and you click toolbox there. So you click on toolbox and add gravity. I'm gonna make a gravity coil, but you guys can charge up whatever you want, like a sword or a speed coil or something like that. And then, um, if you want, if you guys are adding a gravity coil, I would recommend this one. It says rewritten gravity coil script. It's really well made. Um, when this pops up, just click no. And then, so when it says, so whatever your tool is, it'll be in workspace. And then you want to bring it down to server storage, and it should disappear. So make sure it's in server storage. And then whatever your tool name is. It can have space, in it, so make sure it doesn't have any spaces. And then, if I'm, I'm just going to show you this. So in in the gravity coil script, if you want to change how high you jump with the gravity coil, you can do this. The, this one, with 9.81, makes makes it jump really high. But whatever, I'm just going to leave it like that. So you want to get the name of your tool, and then by cl clicking Control C, Command C on MacBook, uh, and then go to the script they made and then you want to go it says so it says right here game dot server storage dot and then I'm gonna put, put in gravity coil so as you can see it's our, our tool is in is in server storage so the server storage dot gravity coil that's right there um, so then you want to go back to you want to go back to this to the store or game pass and then so you want to go in here you click you click the game pass and then you get these numbers up here It'll, your yours will be different than mine but you just grab them just control c and then you want to go back into roblox studio okay and then where it says right here local game pass id equals and you want to do a space and then put those numbers in and then i'm just going to leave this here just so if you guys get confused um but that'll be all um Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. So if you wanna hook up the gravity coil with the gravity coil game pass UI, you just wanna if you just watch my other video, it makes it a lot more clear, but I'm not really gonna go over it in this one. Um but your gravity coil game pass, this is a text one local script, and then as you can see it says change this to whatever the game pass ID is. I'm gonna make it that. And then that is all. So if I click play so as you can see I have the gravity coil because I own the game pass and just to pr just to show you guys that it works I'm gonna go into change the game pass ID name the game pass ID not name um, gravity coil I'm just gonna put a I'm just gonna go like that so the six isn't in it and I don't own this game pass it has a six in it that I own so then um, I'm gonna click play again, and I do not have the game pass, so that's just to prove that it works. Um, yeah, that is all. This is kind of a complicated tutorial, but it, it is easy if you just copy this from the description. You just put it, you know, just follow the tutorial and stuff. Um, but that is all. I will see you guys later. Um, I work really hard on these videos, so I'd really appreciate a like and a sub. But anyways, bye.